Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Joe Unit tutorial series. So in our previous video, we have discussed about uh, what are assertion in J Unit, and now in this video, we will be talking about test suits in J Unit. So what what is test suits? Test suit is nothing but how to group and run a multiple test cases using J Unit test suits. Okay, so the J Unit test suits al allows you or the provides you the uh, ability to run multiple test cases at single place or or on a single click okay so so imagine if you are uh, if you are having uh, multiple test cases or uh, multiple test cases files and you want to run them at once one click at once and you want to check whether uh, all the test cases are passing or not okay so in that case you can use uh, test suits in junit so we'll be seeing one example and uh, let's go inside our ide and create our new project okay so uh, i will create my new project i will name it as a uh, test suits in j unit okay sorry j unit okay uh so the language should be java and the build system is maven because the dependency management is uh, great in maven right so we'll click on uh, okay i guess white spaces are not allowed okay so we will name our project as underscore underscore okay and then it can create our project okay this window okay so my maven project is uh, created and built okay now i want to uh, in order to use the j unit i have to add the dependency for the j unit in my pom.xml file okay so i will go ahead and add the dependency over here so to add the dependencies the main drag is dependencies under which uh, a single dependency tag will become and the artifact id now uh, if you want to use the junit4 then in that case you just uh, need to write junit that's it that is the dependency the first dependency to use the junit4 and now if you want to use the junit5 which is the latest version and have some a great up, update uh, upgrades then in that case you have to write a uh, j unit j u n i t j unit j unit uh, slash uh, you have to write like this jupiter j unit jupiter and uh, org dot j unit dot jupiter is the group id the version you can uh, select any but i will be writing a uh, release or else i will uh, go with the latest version itself oh wait a minute i guess okay so i will go with the release r e l e e s e release and scope is test okay so uh, Okay, so I just need to run this so that my dependency uh, is getting added inside. Okay, now you can see error is gone. Dependency is added. JUnit uh, 5 is added inside my project. So now I will just go here and uh, inside my main uh, Java file uh, or in my main, uh, I will just create a new Java Java class name as uh, I will call it as calculator which. We have also seen our seen in our previous video calculator okay and inside this calculator class uh, let me just create one test case uh, no not test case here I have to write that method uh, which uh, I will be testing okay so I will write public uh, so my method should return a summation that's why the return type should be int uh, okay so I have my method name is add okay and this method it will take the two parameters one is this and one is b and this method will uh, return a uh, summation of those two numbers that is a plus b okay and uh, now uh, we since we are learning the suits in j units uh, now we I, I i will create another class okay uh, so that multiple test cases should be there with within the multiple classes of the java so i will create one more class i will name it as uh, something name as greetings maybe 
greetings okay this is my class name uh, and inside this class i will just create one uh, class that is to greet the user right so i will just write uh, my class name uh, method name as public uh, so this will return a string uh, okay and the method name should be greet okay and uh, oops sorry the method name is great and inside this method it will return the string hello okay so this is what uh, this method is returning so uh, to test these two classes calculator and java i need to create a uh, two classes for the testing purpose i will just go ahead and here i will create a new java class so this is our testing class so i will write uh, calculator test so this is a calculator test class and I need to create another class for testing the greeting class. Okay, so greetings test. So this is our greeting test class. Okay, so now inside the calculator test class, uh, I need I need to create a test case. Okay, so to create a test case, we know uh, what is the this at test we have to write, and after that uh, we need to declare our method uh, that is public uh, void uh, okay so let me call it a check add maybe and okay so uh, now here I can what I can do is uh, this method should accept the two parameters that we are passing okay uh, so here this method is accepting the two parameters that we are passing passing to this right so here i guess uh, we have to call that method inside this method okay so here we have uh, create the object of that class let me call it as calc new calculator okay so now i can access that uh, method which is inside this uh, calculator class that is the add method using this object right so uh, what i will be doing is uh, i will use assertions assertions class assert equals method yeah and all this method uh, we have discussed in our previous video so if you have not watched that video go and watch that video to, so that you can understand what is this assertion and what is assert equals right so inside this uh, i will pass the expected output so since uh, i will be passing uh, 2 comma 2 so the expected output should be 4 and uh, i will expect it and the actual output will be uh, calc dot add i will pass 2 comma 2 comma 2 okay and okay so this is our uh, test case for the calculator class and now we can go ahead and create a uh, one more test case for the greeting okay so we will write uh, at, uh, at test okay so uh, public void public void uh, test greet maybe you can name uh, whatever you want but uh, give the name so that you can understand what what that methods method is doing right so uh, over here what i can do is uh, i can again use the uh, assertions class assert equals and the expected output should be hello because that string or the method is returning a string hello and the uh, actual output that we are getting from the method is we have to create an object of that class so that we can access the uh, method that is written inside that class right so we will write a gree a new greetings and we can call that method over here 
using that uh, object right so gree dot uh, greet uh, let me check great is the method yes great is the method so we are accessing that okay and now uh, we have uh, two classes calculator class we have which has add method and the greeting class which has great method and calculator test uh, class is testing the method that we have written inside the calculator and greeting test class is a uh, has one method which is testing the this greet method which is in, in there inside the greeting class okay so uh, now we have two classes which have two test cases uh, okay so both are different so now we have we want to run these two test cases at which are there inside the different two two different java java files at one time at one single click so here comes the test suits so for this purpose we have to create uh, one more java class file so i will class i will give the class name as test all maybe because we are testing all the test cases okay so over here uh, what i can do is uh, i need to over here what we'll be doing is we have to uh, use one at run with run with okay run with and this is suit s u i t e suit dot class okay and over here so uh, we have to do all this stuff uh, outside the class because we are using uh, we will call those uh, methods or the tests inside this class so we will uh, write all this stuff over here okay so we are getting errors we have to Im implement that we will see at Suit classes and now uh, one second uh, I guess okay so J unit 4 contains this uh, run with class so we need to uh, add the dependency of that uh, that one as well and now uh, we can use this uh, suit dot suit classes and over here you have to pass those uh, class names that we have that contains that test cases right so our test cases are inside calculator test and greeting test now uh, we have to mention those class name over here okay so we will write calculator calculator test dot class and greeting test dot class greeting test dot class okay so these are the two classes that are involved and over here we what we can do is just we need to run this test all class okay so build this happening wait for a minute also you can see uh, we are getting error because what is error invalid test class calculator test dot class so wait a minute I guess just wait a minute we I think we have to now what we can do is run this okay guys uh, just wait one minute I will rectify this error okay so the error that we are getting is uh, because of this because over here if you look inside the pound.xml uh, we have first added the junit5 uh, dependency uh, and we have we have decided to use junit5 but later on uh, we have uh, seen that run with and suit.suit .suit classes are there inside the jupyter4 and that's why we have imported the jupyter4 but when we are writing our uh, test cases uh, we have used the add test annotation uh, which is there inside the jupyter5 and we are uh, using this jupyter4 classes over and here over here and we are using the uh, jupyter5 test 
annotation for declaring our uh, test cases so that creates a conflict and that's why we are getting error uh, so that error you can uh, solve using uh, this uh, just import statement of the j, uh, j unit 4 and over here also you have to just uh, replace it with the j unit 4 uh, import statement so that uh, our this class knows that all the test cases uh, that that are written over here are there written inside j unit 4 okay so we will just click on run with and you can see uh, calculator test class has check add which uh, which gets test cases pass and test grid also test uh, get test cases pass so if you want to check whether uh, if one test case is failed or how it looks like so i will just give give this uh, test grid a failing purpose okay so we can see over here yeah grading test is getting failed because expected is hell and we are getting hello okay so this is how you can uh, use test suits in uh, j unit so that uh, you can run the multiple test cases at one single click using j unit so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one